I, the witch Rani, shall delivereth some jokes unto thee. Get ready for some fucking cringe. When doth a joke becometh a dad joke? When it becomes apparent. This is the level of comedy Thoust is getting. Strap in. An Englishman, a Scotsman, and an Irishman walk into a pub. After a short while, the Irishman turns to the Scotsman and says, You know that joke about the Englishman, the Scotsman, and the Irishman walking into a pub? Why is the Welshman never included? To which the Englishman points across the room to a man and says, Because he's already here before us. Was that one a bit too localized? Very well then, see if this one tickleth your belly. A c- Hmm... No, it would be best for me not to repeat it that one here, actually. The outer gods would place myself into a prison. Uh, how do you make holy water? You boil the hell out of it. <coughs> right, I'm already fucking done with this. I can't bear it this cringe any longer. Mog, get your ass onto this stage right this instant. Hello. I am Mog, the Omen. You may recognize me from that time you found me in my incel basement in Landell. I am so sorry you had to see that. I, uh, have a joke to tell. It's about a kid. Wanna hear it? Would not want to hear whatever's about to come out of your gob. Go back to your moldy basement and play with the fingers, you nonce. Well, now that he's gone, I shall take the liberty of carrying on. I am Sir Gideon Ofnir, the All-Knowing. We know as who art thou already, you prick. Quiet, blue woman. What do you call a tarnished with a shiny face? Varnished. Thou art an awfully terrible jester. For somebody who mantles themselves all-knowing, thou art terrible in the comedic arts. Get up here and come try it for yourself if you think you're any better, sugar plum fairy. I shall decline, for I am not well versed in comedy, especially of the cringe variety. My bones. You're all a load of useless busybodies then. Must I do everything myself? Verily, it seems so. Now, I used to have a job at a calendar factory, but I got fired because I took a couple of days off. Mountains aren't funny. They're hill areas. What's blue and not very heavy? Light blue. I have a joke about trickle-down economics, but 99% of you will never get it. These jokes are wanting to make me kill myself all over again. Women should not have children after 32. 32 children are enough, doth thou think? What do you call bears with no ears? B. <coughs> That's it, I'm done. No more terrible dad jokes. Quite frankly, I'm surprised none of you died of severe cringe. I shall be here same time next week where I'll be telling different jokes about the- Well, go on, Gold Mask. Must be your turn. Fucking beautiful. Right. Best be cracking on. I've got a needy apprentice who's probably gone out and fallen off a cliff. What's blue and not very heavy? Well, that'd be Ranny the Witch. Be careful, you witchy bitch. Take my lady's name out of your mouth. I shan't have her name tarnished by your spiteful ilk. Good dog. Do you know what makes a good fur coat for the winter? Blythe the half-wolf does. Heckle me again, and I'll shove a comet so far down your throat that it'll illuminate your backside. Now, what do you call a fly with no wings? Not a fly. A bunch of humorless arse-wipes, aren't we? Very well, then. Why'd Ranny the witch kill herself? Don't you dare finish that sentence, you cosmic bullshit spaceball enabler. I'll glue that stupid crap to your head permanently if you carry on. Mark my words. Have you suddenly caught a cold, Wolf? Or has Celibus given you a voice-changing potion in the past five seconds? You sound a wee bit different, my winter coat. Oh, come now, Mutt. Why else do 42... Oh, that naughty, naughty little joke Selen was about to tell is too naughty for the outer gods to hear. So I, Alexander Iron Fist, shall humour you instead. What is brown and sticky? 
A stick. Did you hear about the kidnapping at the Halig tree? It's fine. He woke up. Well, actually he didn't. He's stuck in Mog's palace in a cocoon. Never mind. Now, I was going to tell a time-traveling joke, but you folk didn't like it. So instead, would you like to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. That one too will work in the future. I like telling dad jokes. Sometimes he even laughs. <laughs> right, one last one from me, and then I'm going for a nice long nap. I went to a wedding recently. It was between my mighty tarnished friend and the witch Rani. It was all bells and whistles. Everyone was there. Lionel the Lionhearted, the Great Horned Tragoth, Okina, Jeren, Therolina, and Blythe, of course. All the fine fellows I had the honor of fighting alongside to defeat General Radarn. Patches was there, too, though he left upon being confronted by myself. Get over here! Regarding his cowardly flee from the festival. But let me tell you, gentlemen and gentlewoman, that wedding was so beautiful that even the cake was in tears. I bid you good night, all.